So we're going to take a look at installing and configuring the CapGrid Pro plugin. I'm going to assume you've already downloaded the plugin zip file to your computer. First I'm going to log into my demo site. Now I'm going to go to plugins and add new. Instead of searching for a plugin, I'm going to click the upload plugin button at the top. Next I need to upload the CapGrid Pro zip file, so I click choose file. This opens a file browser and I can navigate to the location where I saved the zip file. Select it and click open. Then click install now. The plugin will upload and install. Now I need to activate the plugin so I click activate plugin. Okay so the plugin is installed and activated. A new item labeled CabGrid Pro will appear in the admin menu. Click this to begin configuring your settings. I could go ahead and define some areas already, but I'm going to make some changes first. I'm going to click the options tab and just run through these. The currency symbol, I can change this to dollars. The number of areas, these will be the main pricing regions I travel between. For the purposes of this demo, I'll change this to 6, but you can have as many as you like. The number of vehicles, let's say I operate a standard saloon car and an MPV that holds up to 6 passengers, so 2 vehicle types. I want to show the booking button, so I'll leave this selected, and I'm happy with the message and styling as they currently are. Just click Save Changes. We should now find we have six areas. Let's just enter some large cities to get us going, but you could use airports or postcodes or suburb names. You will also notice checkboxes in the columns next to each area name. The first column is labeled origin and the second destination. When areas have their origin checkbox ticked, this area will show as a pickup location in the first drop down menu. When areas have the destination checkbox ticked, this area will show in the destination drop down menu in the CabGrid plugin. Click Save Changes. OK, let's edit the vehicles. The default vehicle is simply labelled car, but we could put executive limo and set the number of passengers to four. And we'll say MPV, which accommodates up to six passengers. This allows us to select the appropriate vehicle price based on the number of passengers the customer selects. Just a quick note on the lock symbol here. This is here because when you change the names of these areas, or the names of vehicles, it will change the labels in the price table here. You will lose the prices set for any area or vehicle whose name you change, so it's ideal to get them right to begin with. Only add new ones rather than editing existing ones unless you absolutely have to, or actually want to remove those prices completely. If you have to, you can just click the lock icon and then type in a new name. Remember, blank prices in the price table will not show on your website. Once you've added your areas and vehicles, you can start to populate the price tables. There'll be a price table for each of your vehicle types. So I have my executive saloon and my MPV. I can click between these tabs to view each table. We've discussed the pricing table in some detail in the main CabGrid tutorial video. So without going into too much detail, I'm going to enter some prices here. Obviously these prices don't re reflect real world taxi fares, but they will be useful when we come to test. I can save these changes. I'll just click back to the price tab, and now let's put some pricing in for our MPV. These will obviously be different. Save changes. Now we've entered prices for all the vehicle types and areas. It's time to implement the CabGrid user interface on your website. To do this, we use the shortcode CabGrid Pro. I'm just going to copy this to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. I'll call this page 
Cab Grid Pro demo, and I'm going to write a short intro sentence. Now paste in the shortcode and click Publish. So let's have a look at the new page. Here you can see the Cab Grid Pro table. Let's test it. First I'll select the number of passengers. Now I'll select a pickup area, London, going to Birmingham, say. This gives me $12. If I increase the number of passengers to 5, it gives me $30, because it's now using the fare price specified in the MPV table. If I change the destination to Leeds, the price changes. Reduce the number of passengers to 3, and I get another price. OK. If I'm happy with the price, I can click Book and fill out the booking form. I can choose a date using the date picker and enter a time. Enter my pickup address, a destination address, and click Submit. An email will be sent to the address registered as your admin address in your WordPress install. You can find this by going to the Settings and then General section of the WordPress admin. And that's it. Thanks for watching.